Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the Cheerson CX-17 Cricket. Now the CX-17 Cricket is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer. As you can tell, I got a tablet attached here. Um, but um, I had previously reviewed the Cheerson CX-10WD. Now the 10WD came in two versions. One that you can strictly fly via Wi-Fi on your phone and control it via your phone. And a second version that came with a controller. It cost a little more, but I find that that CX-10WD with a controller was an excellent beginner's learn-to-fly FPV quadcopter. Now, Cheerson since has took, taken note and has come out with the CX-17, which is a it uses the same controller, in effect, but... You know, it comes out with a much bigger quadcopter than that tiny little uh, CX-10WD, which could only fly out for like two and a half minutes. Hopefully, this could fly for uh, quite a bit longer, because I believe it comes with a 400 milliamp hour. It does come with a 400 milliamp hour battery. Let's go over this quadcopter real quick to show you that. Uh, the battery for it, unfortunately, is proprietary. You are going to need to buy spare batteries from Cheerson, in effect, <laughs> or Cheerson version batteries. But again, you know, it's a little 3.7 volt, 400 milliamp hour battery. That you just plug in like so very simple snaps in and then you close it like so uh, the quadcopter has a little on off switch on the back for powering it and here is your wi-fi antenna for the transmission of the wi-fi fpv video um it again it is this is bigger with bigger motors than a cx10 uh or the cx10 wd so it should give you uh, b better flight performance it comes with a little 0.3 megapixel camera uh, Wi-Fi, and, and that, again, that image is transmitted via Wi-Fi to your phone, or in my case, a tablet, to record uh, the in-flight video. Now, this is normally made to hold a phone, <laughs> okay, but my old eyes have a hard time seeing that tiny image on a phone, so I wanted to use a tablet, and I took my Shield uh, K1 tablet and just modified it. It's just strapped on here. I don't think this is needed. It doesn't seem to be providing support. But I just took a rubber band and strapped it up and over. And it seems to hold the tablet very well, actually. <laughs> so we're going to fly it with a tablet. Let's go over the controller real quick. Um, this button here has no function other than to change from mode 1 to mode 2 of your transmitter. So you can use either mode 1 or mode 2 for throttle. Um, this I'm flying mode 2, so this is my throttle, this is my yaw, this is my pitch, and this is my roll. You can change the rates of the quadcopter, beginner, intermediate, and expert by pressing into the left stick. And you can actually do flips by pressing into the right stick and telling it which direction to, to flip. Now the quadcopter has altitude hold control, and with that it also has automatic takeoff. And you execute an automatic takeoff by pressing up on this button here, and do an automatic landing by pressing down on this button here. So let's go into the flight of the CX-17 Cricket and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I started the quadcopter and turned on my transmitter and bound it by moving the throttle stick up and down. Now I have the uh, CX-17 uh, Wi-Fi. It's CX-17 Wi-Fi is the name of the app. It's available on Google Play and uh, iTunes. And I'm hitting start. And I'm closing this out. Since we're not going to be using controls of the uh, Wi-Fi via the phone, we're going to be controlling by this only. If you have that turned on, the, the con controller turned on, uh, you will lose control from this. So you need to hit that eyeball there in the upper right corner to turn it off. Now I'm starting the video recording, and we are going to execute an automatic takeoff. And there it goes. Let's go up a little bit higher. And... Here's how it looks on my screen. Let me go over in the shade here, folks. And we're going to fly it around in the trees here. <laughs> oh, before we do, let's take it up high and get an aerial video of the area. Going up a little bit higher. And there's the aerial view. So you can you can get aerial video with this. I am recording right now. Okay, now we're going to come down and try to fly FPV through the trees. Now you can actually see what I'm seeing on the screen here. I hope you can. But I am also recording it on the screen with my screen recorder for my Nvidia tablet. Let's see if this handsome guy comes into the picture, and there he is. <laughs> okay, I'm attempting to fly FPV and also keep my camera on this at the same time but there it is 
go up a little bit higher. <laughs> there I am. I'm staying in the shade, folks, so you can see the screen. I'm hoping that you're seeing the screen. Okay, going out and about. Let's, let's see if I can thread the needle. I call this threading the needle. There's these two trees that are close together over here. I'm not sure I could do it. Maybe not. Let's try it over this way. I'm going into that tree. Ah, forget it. That one is just too tight for this. Now the, um, the view on the camera is somewhat zoomed in. Okay, let's, let's do an automatic landing right now. Landing. And there it comes down. Automatic landing. And what I want to do is turn off the camera again. Make sure I got some video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turning the camera back on again. And automatic takeoff again. And let's go up a little higher and let's see how this thing flips. Pressing the flip button. Doing a right flip. Doing a left flip. And doing a forward flip. So it flips quite well. Let's go back over here and thread that needle one more time. Oh, the app seems to have crashed here. Hold on, folks. I'm going to land it. And we're going to restart that app. Open it up again. Start. And turning off with the eyeball. And turning the camera back on. The camera is recording again. And taking off. Okay, again, I want to try to go through this, these two trees here. Can I do it? Probably not. Uh, and I did it. <laughs> he did it. Hooray. <laughs> Again, that camera is somewhat zoomed in, so it can be a little bit difficult. Um, it's easy to fly outdoors, but if you're going hard maneuvering, it can be somewhat difficult. I hope the video is showing up on my TV screen. It flies very well. Let's try a higher rate. Increase rate even more. Oh. Very maneuverable, huh? There we go. Let's save that video we got so far. And <laughs> starting up video again. I think it's starting to land, folks, which is telling me that uh, its battery is probably getting low. We'll fly until it crashes. Let's fly around the uh, soccer net. Oh, it's going nice. Very nice and smooth and fast and rapid. So yeah, it's a nice little quadcopter. Uh, it's got longer range. It seems to have longer range than the uh, CX-10WD and flies quite a bit faster than the CX-10WD does. <laughs> Still got some foot power on it. So not too shabby. Let's bring it in so we could get a nice close-up view of it. Bring it up a little bit higher. The wind's from my back right now, so there it is. <laughs> Fun little quiet cup. Let's save that video again. Start up the video one more time. You got to do this uh, repeatedly, folks. Um, if you lose power on a quadcopter, mainly these toy quadcopters while recording, um, such as from low battery, oftentimes you do lose the video, uh, the recorded video. So I recommend considering saving multiple times. Oh, that appears to have crashed again, so we're going to land it one more time. That was two crashes of the app. So let's go back. Open up CX-17 WD, or CX-17 Wi-Fi, I'm sorry. Hitting start again. So we would have lost that short little video I just took there from that crash. So that's why I recommend multiple takes. Going back into the air. Automatic takeoff. 
And let's fly and see how much flight time we get out of this thing. So the app crashed two times on me. Sounds like Cheerson might want to take a closer look at that app and update it. So they, they may update it in the future so it won't crash as often. I'm always taking a dog around the walk or taking my dog around for a walk around the park here while I fly here. We got another cheer I'm going to be flying right after this CX93S 5.8 gigahertz Wi Fi FPV flyer. That should be neat. It supposedly has 3D mode of flight. I don't know if that's acro or if that's probably horizon mode. We're going to find out here shortly. So this is a long flyer. They ain't kidding. <laughs> I'm getting a lot. Good flight time out of this. Let's save this video again. Stopping. Starting again. Making sure I get those videos recorded. Oh, there we go. That's his flight time. Stopping. It makes an immediate landing when it gets low. <laughs> yeah, let's stop that video. Hopefully we got that video. Let's see if the lights are blinking. Yes, they are. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... There's the LVC warning. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to see out here in the daylight, so I didn't notice it if it was going off or not. But that's the 617 uh, Cricket. Uh, neat little flyer. Um, flew very well. Its app seems, to, you know, the video that I was getting on the app seems to be relatively low lag, if you can see here, folks. You know, it seems pretty, pretty darn close. However, its video, again, is somewhat zoomed in. Uh, somewhat of a, uh, you know, through the soda straw effect. Uh, the app looks to be a good app, except it did crash on me two, a couple times here. But again, you could also use this app to fly the quadcopter. However, I recommend getting the version, you know, if they, they do offer this in a, a uh, controllerless version, I recommend getting the controller version because it makes flying so much easier. Okay, so this uh, Quadcopter 101 signing out with a CX-17 Cricket. Hope you enjoyed this flight.